Hello, another battery testing video. Recently I've made a couple of videos measuring batteries for this Canon camcorder. I will not repeat details here. Uh, I'll put links to previous videos below. And the main task was to get this guy running for more than two hours uninterrupted. So essentially I wanted twice the capacity but in the same physical package, because this compartment is constrained physically. Uh, there are thicker batteries on the market, which will not fit in th into this guy. So, I ended up upgrading the camcorder. I bought another used camcorder on eBay, uh, which is a better model than this one. And the main thing about batteries here is that the battery is on the back and can be physically thicker. And here is a package, just arrived, didn't open it up yet. I bought such a replacement, which should be physically thicker, about twice the size and hopefully twice the capacity. Let's give it a try. Alright, I switched to Canon with an external lapel microphone, hopefully better sound. So here I opened up the package and surprise, the one I thought I bought was branded Progo and rated at 2000 mAh. This guy is branded Maxtech and rated at 2500 mAh. So, for my 13 bucks, they sent me, hopefully, a better battery. So, let me connect it to the camcorder and push this info button. Uh, sure enough, not fully charged shows slightly less than 50% and promises 47 minutes out of that. So here they are side by side. As we can see this guy is quite a bit thicker. And this standard Canon battery is rated at uh, 890 milliamp hours. And because of this feature which is called intelligent lithium ion, we can see that estimated runtime on the screen, which I showed before. Uh, the camcorder can talk to the battery and they somehow figure out this estimated runtime. So when fully charged, this guy shows 77 minutes, from which I want to calculate uh, how much current the camera draws. So here it is. If we assume this 890 milliamp hours is correct, then we multiply it by 60 minutes and then divide by 77. So this gives us uh, roughly 700 milliamps. So the camera consumes about 700 milliamps. But I don't think manufacturers test batteries at such high current. So they probably specify this uh, capacity rating at much lower current. Not sure what exactly. I don't have the specs. And uh, I suggest to go uh, lower to 500 milliamps. So that should be good enough for our purposes here. So uh, I will charge them both completely and then test this one for reference and then this one and see what happens. Well, let's have a quick look. So this new battery is fully charged and uh, I'll press this battery info button. What do we see? 143 minutes estimated runtime. So, on the one hand, uh, looks like finally I'm getting my 
desired two hours of runtime. On the other hand, remember, this guy was rated at 2500 milliamp hours, which is uh, about three times the capacity of the standard battery. But this runtime uh, is just twice the runtime of the standard battery. So I suspect that this figure of 2500 milliamp hours is not quite true and we will measure something closer to twice the capacity of the standard battery. So let's say 1600 or something like that. So let's start measuring. Here is the standard uh, Canon battery, fully charged, hooked up the, to the electronic load. And for this I used a couple of thick solid wires. I flattened the ends with the hammer until they just fit into the slots in the battery. That uh, should be good enough. And I set the electronic load to 500 milliamps. And I set the minimum voltage, which is our discharge cutoff point, to 6 volts this time. And I want to mention that I was criticized uh, after my previous videos for setting it at 5 volts. Uh, it was a little bit too aggressive, I agree. Uh, however, I want to show you the, one of the graphs. This is one of the graphs from uh, previous experiments. Uh, so look, once voltage falls off the cliff, it falls really quickly. And uh, this point, which is 5 volt cutoff point, it was at 77 minutes, almost exactly. And uh, this 6 volts point was at 75 minutes, almost exactly. So about 2 minutes uh, between these two points, uh, which does not affect the overall uh, measured time much. So I agree to set it uh, at a uh, more gentle 6 volt cutoff point. Uh, and uh, I also want to mention that this is not a raw battery. Th these batteries have a battery management chip in them, which is supposed to, among other things, protect it from over discharging. So I can even argue that it was part of the test to see how it saves the battery if we try to over discharge it. Uh, but it was not the main point of the experiment. So yeah, I agree to set it at 6 volts this time and go easier on it. And here is my improved interface to the electronic load. Before I used a very very simple Python script just to read voltage and current and uh, save these things to a file every second or, or so. Now uh, I wrote a little bit of graphics interface uh, still in Python using GTK library. Uh, it is still a very early prototype, uh, you cannot control the instrument from here, it only reads the instrument state, uh, so it shows voltage, current, power and some other things here, the state of the output, off or on. Uh, it does that data logging, shows the graph in real time and still saves the measurements to a file if I want to later analyze it with some other software. So let's start the experiment. Uh, so for which I will push start here. So it will start recording data uh, and uh, showing us the graph in real time and now I press on button on the electronic load and now it starts discharging. So the discharging just finished and here is the result. I printed out the graph 
and uh, it took 98 and a half minutes which with a little math translates to 820 milliamp hours and uh, that in turn with a little math translates to 92 percent of the rated 890 milliamp hours capacity and I think it's pretty good well first of all because the battery is not new I bought the camcorder used I don't know how many cycles are on this battery uh, and uh, method of measuring may be different slightly from how manufacturer does that so I think we are pretty close so let's do the same thing for the uh, uh, replacement battery I bought. And here it is, the replacement battery is fully charged and hooked up to the electronic load. So let's move to this piece of software. It still shows the graph from the Canon battery discharge. And by the way, for those who are interested, I will upload this software to GitHub and put a link below this video. So let's start new cycle. When I press start, it will start data login from scratch. Uh, erase the old graph and start it again. And now I'll turn on the electronic load. So off we go. Here is the result of discharging this MaxTech battery and I'm quite disappointed. Look at this, 142 and a half minutes. After a little bit of calculation that translates to almost 1200 milliamp hours, which is about half of that promised 2500 milliamp uh, figure on on this package uh, so remember that the battery I thought I bought uh, was promised to have just 2000 milliamp hours so uh, I could consider this extra 500 as a bonus if if this number was true but it seems like the true capacity is quite a bit lower even than that 2000 milliamp hours figure so seems like my problem of running the camcorder for a couple of hours is still unsolved and i know what you are thinking why do i keep buying these cheap chinese batteries and hope for the best uh, well, uh, because genuine batteries are very expensive, such battery uh, from Canon can cost perhaps $70 or more. Um, I've seen used one for 50 or so on eBay. So uh, for 13 bucks, I thought I should risk it and, and see uh, if this doubling of the physical size helps which it didn't in this case so I'll talk to the seller uh, show them this result and we'll see what happens and I'll keep looking maybe I'll end up buying some other battery so thank you very much for watching goodbye